What's up guys and welcome to the first episode of the Road to Messi series in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. Now, I actually did this series in FIFA 12 for you guys that weren't subscribed to me then. And I also did it in FIFA 11 when, uh, you know, my channel was just starting out. It was just near the end of the FIFA, you know, 11 era. Uh, and I decided, you know, why not actually grab hold of a bit of coins and do this trading series and, you know, try and actually get to Messi. So I did actually do that, um, you know, got there quite quickly as well. And it was a, it was a good series that actually kind of started off my channel. Uh, very very well so um, as you can see here we're just showing that we don't have any other you know players or anything in our club apart from the ones that we've bought uh, we did actually start with 10k because there were the you know the amount of coins that we got from the packs and we also did a bit of trading but as you can see here the first player um, was actually an Elikobi I think it was for like 450 coins or something like that very very cheap indeed especially for a 442 version uh, and we would just send that straight to the trade pile he's got very outstanding stats 76 defending and also 80 defend 80 heading uh, which is very very nice indeed but um, for the first few episodes guys I'm going to be trying to show you a few of my techniques that I'm using to get these players um, and you know just uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of deals going on because I'm trying to at the start I try and make small profit into big profit so I buy small profit in bulk uh, and then sell it on and then you know sometimes you can make even up to like 40 50k um, you know with just all of these profits so and see here we get up to center mid 4-1-2-1-2 G-Sun Park for 600 coins uh, now I can actually transfer that into a 3-4-1-2 for 200 coins and make him into um, the right position and right formation for uh, you know that that formation so um, he should actually sell probably for about 5k that's gonna be a very very tiny profit if we do get round to that so a few of these other players and see here the kind of the trend that's going on is the you know sort of expensive fallback formations. so 4-1-2-1-2 4-4-2 and 4-3-3 they're the three most expensive formations and I've just been trying to sort of bid on the ones which have been open bid uh, and stuff like that and sort of grab hold of, you know, some of the best deals that I can find on the market at this time. So, and see here, um, again, going into the trade pile very, very soon, uh, we've got 4k left over as well that we can buy uh, some packs with. And these were just the four players that actually sold, um, you know, from a bit of trading. You know, I think it was back when the web app was up, and I did a load of trading then. Uh, and these were, these were just a few players that were left over because I got them for for pretty cheap. So, and see here, we're just listing a few of the players. Um, Dawson is actually going to go up for around two point nine k. I think we'll be we'll definitely be able to sell him on for that. That's going to be a very very tidy profit indeed. Farhe, um, he's actually got a really really good centre mid silver for uh, Birmingham, and we should be able to get about a one k profit on him. Park, I'm pretty, pretty confident we can actually make a really, really nice profit on him. Uh, looking for about 5k, hopefully we can do it. Um, as I see here, for the first few times that we do actually list him, he is actually still in the 4 one 2, one 2 Kind of didn't cross my mind um, until, you know, I tweeted on Twitter and a lot of people said, why don't you transfer him to a formation where, uh, you know, he actually has the centre mid position in it. Because, of course, 4 one 2, one 2 only has a, you know, a centre attack mid and a centre defensive mid. Uh, so it's pretty wise to do so. Uh, transfer them into like a, a four three two one two or four three two one anything like that anything that I can get for you know relatively cheap so and see here the next player was Heitinger uh, he cost me two point two k kind of a gamble but we're hoping to sell him on for about three point one k. Fabio got him for 650 coins. Should be able to sell him on for about 1.8k or something like something like that. I do actually list him for 2.1k, which would be a very very nice profit indeed. Now you're probably all thinking, oh, you know, these players are going for way over their average price. Uh, you know, just in normal formations. Well. When I trade, you know, these kind of players, I really like to trade in their most expensive formations and it does help so, so, so much, uh, especially when you're trying to sell the players because a lot of people are kind of only used to, you know, the 4 one 2 one 2 formations, the 4 3 3 and the 4 4 2 so it's a, it's a, you know, sort of price that they're willing to pay. But as so there, the Heitinger actually sold for the price that we got for him uh, and, you know, that's probably going to make about a 1k profit. So that already, that is a very good start. But we do actually go into the market and actually pick up a load more cards um, and for some reason, the trade pile was being really really annoying so I do actually just go through the ones that I've bought um, I can't actually send, to the, send them to the dread pile uh, and list them yet but we get Shamak for 450 coins, Odin Wingy for 850 uh, Schwartz and see here for 450 we get that new Chelsea right back for 1k should be able to sell him on for about a 600 700 coin profit Foster there for 400 coins a very very good deal uh, Figueroa for 800 coins which is also uh, a pretty good deal as well which should be able to make probably around 1k for each of these cards 
cards, which is always nice to see. Uh, and then we also have a few players on this side of the trade market as well. We've got Galas for 550 coins, Rodwell there for 800 coins, Pablo Hernandez for 600, and also Dawson, another one uh, for 450 coins, which we've got a bid on at the moment. So if we can pick Dawson up for relatively cheap, uh, we should be able to make maybe like a 2K profit on him. So as you see here, uh, another player actually just sold Dawson there for 2,900 coins. Really, really nice profit. Also, Farhe sold for 1.5k. So, you know, both of them players uh, probably making a combined total of about a 3k profit on two cars, which cost me, you know, less than 1k uh, to actually buy singly. So, we also get a few other players. We get Foster here for 600 coins. Uh, you know, trading a lot with the same players, the ones that I know can sell, the ones that I can know, I know I can constantly put up on the market, and then they, you know, I can sort of rely on them to sell and make a decent profit on. So, you know, it's a good, good sort of technique to stick with the stuff you know. Uh, again, we picked up another Rodwell in a 442 for relatively cheap. Both of these were 800 coin bins, uh, and you know the the next cheapest one after that was like 2.5k. So I thought, why not get them? Stick them both up for about 1.8k, and they should definitely sell. Uh, you know, if I, if I am correct, but. Uh, we actually have 1.6k uh, still left in our club and we are hoping to actually uh, invest that more in a few more players but I think as you will see in a second um, you know the trade pile is still mucking up and glitching uh, but these are a few more players that I've actually sold as you see here we have got uh, Foster I think it will just go through them all. Figaro, 1.8k, that is a very, very good deal. Picked him up for 800 coins, that's a 1k profit there. Foster, 1.9k, picked him up for 450, I think. Uh, we get both the Rodwells sold for 1. Point, well, one for 1.7k and one for 1.8k. Um, you know, that's a really, really good profit on both of them. And you know, we're making really, really nice profit. This was all in one night that I recorded this, uh, and we kind of went from like 10k to 50k. Uh, you will see in a couple of episodes how far I do get. So it is a good profit to be making. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video so far. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the first episode, then please do drop a like. It does help me out, and if we can hit 1,000 likes on this, this would be incredible. Uh, you know, I will actually upload a second episode tomorrow, um, or actually tonight. If we hit 1,000 likes on this by tonight, um, say at about 5.30 to 6pm, I will upload a second episode. So it's all down to you, uh, you know, whether you want this bad enough. Um, you know, there you go. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Like I said, 1,000 likes would be amazing, and peace.